I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. We just need money. You'll damn us all. The Pinkertons and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire Leviticus Cornwall, they want us. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um... I'm dying, sister. <laughs> yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. All right, sir. Do you have my bag? <laughs> I've lived a bad life, sister. Always, Dutch. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. But there's more than your back to worry about. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. I don't know nothing about cows. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. Leave the boy alone. I had a son. Me and Charles were trying to rescue your son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Don't let yourself get killed for... Well, I watched him die. For pride, I seen it kill too many folk. That worked soon enough. Said don't thank me. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. It wasn't that I didn't love you. Arthur, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. But then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. If we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious, and also the gentlest. We're more ghosts than people. No more Don't you owe Arthur than me. Neither of you two. Not now. This country... Is man unleashed? That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. In a way. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. It is a gift to know. Try. Try to do the good thing. I hope you can find peace within yourself. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. You keep killing folk, Dutch. But what about loyalty? I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists. Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. No matter what matters. And do a loving act. Abigail. Jack, John, make sure they make it. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. John, that's all I knew. Insist. Oh, I ever believed in. Yeah. Well, not anymore, John. Insist. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Soon. Look at me! You gotta go. I'm worried about folk. Go. Don't look back. You gonna strangle me next? Since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. He didn't make it. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! It pains me to say it, Arthur. I wish things were different. But he's right. Hurts! But it weren't us who changed. You rats. All of you. Sons of Dutch. All them years, Dutch. Makes us brothers. 
this snake. Thank you. Lost. My sick friend. Decide for my Jake. I am. You're the best man I've known. It's my, my best efforts to the country. Well, you're a good man. It turns out I'm wounded. You're a good man, I'm sorry. So I don't know you're a good man, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brother. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on. <laughs>